impossible to put in that. You can't put the car in. Okay. That's what you picked to come outside? Yeah. Okay. Well, I don't know if that's a good idea. What happens if you get it dirty? That's a nice clean costume. You guys are going to be playing in the mud. Hey guys, back on the B2320. As you can see, I have the cutting deck on, which means I have the backhoe off. I also usually take the loader off when I'm mowing. Even though the B series is a little bit lighter, I find that just taking the extra weight off of the front really helps prevent uh, damaging the lawn when, uh, when mowing. Uh, and even with the loader off, you still have to be careful. You can't take corners too tightly, otherwise you definitely will, uh, will damage, uh, damage your grass. Now with the loader off, I usually take this time to uh, do whatever maintenance I need to do uh, around the engine. Just a lot easier with the loader arms out of the way. Don't usually, uh, normally this tractor has both the, uh, the loader and the backhoe on. That's just the, the way I usually leave it. Don't get to see the tractor very often with, uh, without those, uh, those implements on it. Uh, I must say, it looks pretty good. Uh, I've seen, I've uh, been looking at other tractors online uh, and I noticed that the ones with the, the fuel tank behind the seat rather than, than out in front, uh, they just don't look as nice. I like the, uh, the longer nose of, uh, of the Kubota. Anyways, it's beside the point. <laughs> Today we're gonna look at uh, what I think is one of the easiest and one of the most useful uh, upgrades to do on your tractor and that is to replace the halogen bulbs in, uh, you know, in the, the headlights and the tail lights and all the marker lights uh, with LEDs. I did this upgrade uh, probably a couple, maybe a year or two after I originally bought the tractor. Uh, I did it for a couple of reasons. Obviously, LEDs are a lot brighter than the standard halogen headlights. The other reason I did it is because the, the stock alternator on the B series, the, the, my 2320, as well as all the other uh, B series in the line, and I believe the O, the new B uh, O1 series is the same. Uh, the alternator in uh, the stock alternator doesn't produce all that much power, um, and it's not actually an alternator. It, uh, but for the sake of uh, simplicity, I'll call it an alternator. Uh, the stock alternator only produces about 15 amps of current, and if you work it out, I believe it's about 180 watts of power. So, if you're adding uh, lights on the rods or other accessories, you do have to make sure that they're not, they're not drawing uh, too much power. It's really easy to go over uh, 180 watts. And the easiest way to save power is to replace the front headlights. The front headlights are 28 watts each. Uh, and like I said, I did this upgrade a long time ago, and at that time, I purchased six watt LED headlights. I have purchased new ones. They are eight watts a piece. We'll see if I can see a difference between the six and the eight watts. Again, manufacturers' uh, specifications are always uh, taken with a grain of salt. So whether or not they are, uh, they're an improvement, we'll see. But what the plan is, uh, is to take the, the old LEDs that were in the headlights and replace the, the marker lights. Um, I've also replaced, again, a long time ago, the tail lights. So uh, between re replacing the headlights, the tail lights, I'll have enough bulbs uh, so that all the lights on the tractor are LEDs. Yeah, so we'll, uh, we'll swap out the, uh, the headlights, swap out the tail lights and all the marker lights and see what the difference is. All right, so like I said, nice and simple. Give it a quarter turn. It's a little tight. Pops it straight out. Now these are the old 6 watt LED bulbs. I'm going to put the 23 watt halogen back in. Just so I can remember what they were actually like. So, 
back, push it in all the way, quarter turn, and it's just that simple to change. Okay, so the old halogen on the left, LED on the right. Pretty clear difference. The other nice thing is that the cool white I find to be a lot more uh, a lot more illuminating at night. It just uh, it may be a little harsher to look at, but uh, it really lights things up uh, a lot better than the uh, the yellow glow of the halogen. All right, let's see if we can uh, let's see if we can see a difference. Well, not sure if it shows up on the camera, but the bulb on the left, the new 8 watt, is definitely quite a bit brighter than the old uh, than the old 6 watt LED. I know it doesn't sound like much, you know, one or two watts, but when you're when you're only talking about eight watts, you're you're looking at about 15 to uh, to 20 percent uh, difference in the power, which means about the same in terms of output. And yeah, the new ones the new ones definitely look a lot brighter. So I'm gonna change them all over and then use the old LEDs that I had in the uh, the headlights and the tail lights to uh, to change out the marker lights And just for a bit of context, on the tail lights, I put a the halogen back in the tail light. That's the the halogen bulb on the one side, and the LED bulb on the other side. So we're going to change change these guys out to the new ones, and see how they look. All right, guys, there we go. It took about three minutes to switch them out, and they are way brighter. The halogen bulb that is stock on the Kubota is really small. It's only about 10 watts, so back here it's not about saving power at all. Um, but this stock bulb, you can barely see it uh, when, uh, when you're operating your taillights in the day, and at night it is pretty uh, pretty pathetically dim uh, so the LEDs on the tail lights are uh, are really nice you can uh, you can actually see them now they are uh, quite visible there's lots of room in the uh, in the lens assembly so uh, you can you can get bulbs that are a lot longer than the uh, than the stock uh, the stock light bulb so um, these uh, these fit with uh, with quite a bit of room to spare, so no problems, no problems there. All right, and just for comparison's sake, take a look at the incandescent bulbs. Again, not bad, but I've got leftover LED bulbs, so we'll see if they work in these markers. Never actually taken these apart. So let's see how it goes.
Right, standard incandescent. Pass that one out. The new one in. Line up the screws. There we go. Okay, give it a quick test, make sure it works. Oh yeah. Works good. And then for the other marker, you just go in and pry the lens assembly off. Crack it. <laughs> Take the bulb out. Pretty easy to change. There's lots of room in both of these marker assemblies for for bulbs. If they if the LEDs are within the uh, the size requirements for the original bulbs, they'll Obviously they'll fit, but there's lots of room in there if they're uh, a little bit larger. Snap the cover on. And there we go. You lose a little bit of, of the amber because the, uh, well, at least these LEDs are, are the cool white. Um, if you got the, uh, the warm white ones, you probably retain the uh, the amber look. Again, I just had these ones left over, so I'm using them. They are a tad brighter, uh, but if I was to buy LED special for just these markers, I'd probably go for the uh, for the warm the warm light. But yeah, look good and tad brighter than the incandescents. All right guys, that's it. Super simple upgrade. Do this upgrade before you do anything else to your tractor. Who knows, you might find that the, uh, the light out put from your new LED headlights is more than sufficient for you. You don't have to go through the added expense of wiring up some ROP lights. If you're gonna do anything, do the headlights first. Uh, not only, again, you get way more light, but you're also saving a lot of power. Again, the, the alternator on these smaller tractors, on this Kubota, is only putting out about 180 watts, and those halogen lights are taking up uh, 23 watts each, so 46 watts in total. So you're saving a good 30 watts of power, a little bit more. And it might not sound like a lot, but when you're only dealing with uh, 180 watts total, uh, every little bit, uh, every little bit counts, uh, especially when you're putting on uh, accessories onto onto your tractor. All right, I uh, hope that uh, hope that helps out some of you, and I'll see you later.